Hello and welcome to this week's webinar. This week's webinar is based around selling videos to hotels and thanks for joining us. I realize it's Easter and it's Easter Monday so um, I also realize our attendance is going to be down today um, but uh, we are recording this um, so it's something that these agents can use uh, during the course of the week or so on. Now, I guess um, to really kick off into this subject, this is about selling video. So selling video production and marketing to hotels. And in order to do that, it's really a different focus from the events and, and the normal stream of things. And so the first thing I want to address is our current agents. Now, as we've spoken about, and I won't go on too long about it, about uh, our agents are all self-employed. They've come into the business to uh, make bookings on behalf of events and create PBAs. Obviously, at the moment, through the difficulties of the coronavirus, these markets have slowed down and postponed and gone towards the end of the year. So Hotels TV has pivoted somewhat is that we're not leaving that business model at all. Uh, however, we've got to understand that right now uh, there's only so much we can do with the market. So we've created another business model for the company's purpose of which will help us create a better um, brand uh, and um, authority become more authority, authoritative in the marketplace moving forward by having a TV channel. So we are the experts, so people can come and watch our videos and really understand that we know what we're talking about, and therefore that overflows into the other services, and one of those services is, of course, uh, using our technology for event accommodation bookings and using our agents to support them with those bookings. So... The video side of the business is very much complementary to what we're doing and designed to really um, support what we're doing. But right now, we've got the opportunity to focus on that. And the reason we have the opportunity is because there's a lot of hotels out there at the moment who are closed or postponing their reopenings and uh, not receiving any revenue, and they are reducing their budgets, their marketing budgets. And when a hotel does that, they tend to disappear from visibility. Um, and that's not great for any hotel. And without hotels, we have no business. So our role at the moment, as I see, what Hotels.TV can contribute to this uh, pandemic situation that we're in globally and this um, difficulty with travel. Um, and just to, just to give you an idea, you know, uh, the US has about 10% unemployment now after the coronavirus. The travel industry employs about 10% of the population. So that gives you a little bit of an idea of how much of an impact travel has and how important travel is, uh, how important hotels are. So the industry that we're in is 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 very much a vital industry for many people working, um, and you know, and for many people doing business, and for uh, you know, employing people, and everything from cleaners to through to ground staff to people in restaurants, reception, reservations, marketing, uh, management. Um, suppliers such as toiletries, uh, bedding, dry cleaning, laundry, uh, you know, it's absolutely vast. And then, it, you know, the travel industry extends obviously into flights and tours and attractions and, 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 and seminars and exhibitions, and everything that, that really brings this market together. That's what we're in. So our way of supporting that is – we have an audience and we're building on an audience very, very quickly. And so we're in a really unique position that we can offer these hotels now free marketing, free advertising, a way to support the industry 
is to you know make sure these hotels are visible and we're running a campaign at the moment if you've seen our linkedin feed called hashtag keep hotels visible um, and i'll come back to this in a minute but i'll put it on the screen just so you can see it so campaign keep hotels visible during the coronavirus hdv understands many hotels are not trading and receiving revenue and are cutting their marketing budgets this cuts their visibility it is vital hotels stay visible at this time or risk being overlooked by guests when bookings restart. People are planning now. So, you know, they may not be booking now, but they're certainly planning now. And all the videos and all the social media are all pointed very much towards dreaming and planning for when this starts to open. And the cycle is that people will start to think, hey, where should we go? Once we restrictions are lowered, we need to go on a holiday. We need to go and travel. We need to go on a break. Where are we going to go? So the more hotels are visible right now, the better it is for them, the stronger it is for them. Also, you know, we want hotels to know that we love them, you know, and we all have our favorite hotels. We're not you know, there are some Marriott's and Hilton's and Travelodges and Novotel's and all these different products, and they're great, they're corporate. But we all have hotels that we've been to that have a defining characteristic, have, you know, a real awe about them. They're a space that maybe something really special happened, you know, in our life. Um, they're the center of all sorts of things that we do. So it's really important we remember that, but it's important we get our viewers to remember that. And that's what we really want to do by this Keep Hotels Visible. It's for the guests that are out there scrolling, scrolling through the, the internet, looking up hotels, dreaming about the future. We want them to start to identify with the hotels maybe they'd stayed before or the ones they would really like to stay at, the ones that have some character, you know, that are different, that are unique, that are, you know, that are sexy, that are chic, that are whatever you like in a hotel. We want people to start to dream of this, okay? And we want to support our industry by doing that. So, so the way we do that is by offering them free marketing. A lot of these hotels already have their own video. And so we want them to give us that video and we will put it across our channels. Now, I've gone over the last couple of weeks about our channels. I will go through it again. I have a full presentation here to show you, and I have a very, 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 very simple presentation for anyone to follow um, and anyone to start a conversation with a hotel or a hotelier or a marketing department. All these people are there. They're all at home. They're all you know, um, contactable via LinkedIn. They're contactable via um, their mobile phones. They're contactable via their email addresses. They're all there. They're all wondering what to do. They're waiting for the market to come back. They're all, you know, very keen to do something. But they don't want to spend a lot of money right now because they don't have a lot coming in and I'm sure their budgets. However, Industry experts, as I think I showed you, or I will show you at some point, or you should have had a link. Industry experts, let me see if I can bring this up and drop the link in for you, have basically um, advised the travel industry and advised hotels to... And I did this on LinkedIn. You guys should really link to me on, on LinkedIn. Um, as a general rule, and I'll drop this link in there. If you can maintain your marketing budget during this time of crisis, then you should do so. Historic data or data, depending on where you live in the world, and research have proven time and time again that companies which actively market during a time of crisis, experience higher sales and net income than those going dark or invisible. At minimum, you should not cut more than 50% of your marketing budget. In other words, if you currently spend 10% of your gross revenue on marketing, then don't go below 5%. 
note, we are talking about gross revenues during good times as this has to be viewed as an investment spend approach. All right. So just that's something. <clears throat> and I'll put that link now into the uh, into the chat box so you can click on that. In times of crisis, they're advising that hotels should continue to spend 50% of their marketing budget if they can. Now, it's not always possible. Why? To stay visible. Really, really important for the reasons I said before. <clears throat> it's important for you to understand how hotels are thinking. It's important for you to subscribe to things like eHotelia, hotelmarketing.com, you know, and all these other ones that I've told you over the years to actually go and follow. But it's equally important that you read them. And it's equally important that you're interested in them in order to know what your one of your clients is thinking. One of your clients is the hotels. One of your clients are the event organizers. One of your clients are the guests. <clears throat> so it's really, really vital that when this stuff comes through, that you look at it. And you can drop me a link. I know I, you know, I don't look at everything, but I, I certainly get the main stuff and I read it. If you come across something, send me a WhatsApp message with, a, with an interesting article or email us or whatever, because we might miss something. Maybe there's something in your city in a local newspaper or an online publication that addresses these issues. We would really love to receive that because, you know, not only do we use it for our own personal notes, but we build our business around this information because it helps support our points, the points that we try and make to a hotel. So I'm going to call a hotel and I'm going to say, you know, hey, did you read that eHotelier article? Or no? I say, okay, I'll send it to you. But it recommends hotels spend at least 50% of their budget at the moment, even in a crisis. Are you doing that? So, you know, these are things that you can build into conversation. Number one, it puts you in a really positive position because you're identifying what they should be doing and you understand what their revenue managers should be looking at and also what the marketeers are actually suggesting to them. But it also shows that you're interested and it shows that you're aware of your market. You're not just blindly, you know, moving into this. This is the... This is the um, I will get to the presentation in a minute. You know what I'm like. But this is one of the threats with working part-time on something. Just because you're part-time, for those that are, doesn't mean that you shouldn't be 100% into the business. Okay? You must be 100% into the business even if you're part-time. So what that means is studying things, reading things, living and breathing the business, understanding what goes on in the market, whether you're doing hotel bookings for events or whether you're introducing a free video marketing campaign to a hotel, you should be aware of what's going on in the market at all times. Even if you just spend 15, 20 hours a week, you should be up to speed. Just because you spend part time doesn't, it is no excuse for you not being aware of what's going on in your industry. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So right now we're in a crisis. Okay. There are lots of hotels out there. Okay. That are sitting there. Marketing staff are getting paid to do nothing right now. Okay. Cause they're all been furloughed, but they're still actively looking at their business justifying their 80% or whatever in the UK or wherever they are around the world. They're still getting money. They're still entitled to something. They're still part of the business. The stronger and the more effort these guys and you put in right now at a time of crisis, the more loyalty and the better it is for everyone on the other side of it. And their bosses are also going to look at them and go, you know what, when we needed this guy, he was there for us. Anyone Anyone can make hay while the sun shines, okay? That doesn't show that you're really good at what you do. Just because when everything's positive, 
you know, you can do your job really well. Okay. And as entrepreneurs and business people, you're all self-employed. You're all entrepreneurs. You're all business people uh, that are part of hotels.tv. Okay. So you should be one of those people that are working as hard as you can now to create things, to open opportunities, to, you know, to show how well you work in a crisis and why they should trust you and give you loyalty because of the things you do when times are crappy and bad, not just turning up when times are good. Okay. That goes a long way to a business owner. Now, before I start this presentation and we'll get back to this, keep hotels visible. um, Let me just express to you a couple of things. Okay. And person will remain non anonymous <clears throat> i sent out the sales agreement uh the other day in the email campaign now the sales agreement says that hey agents and you know you're not the only one we're letting into the video stuff it's not exclusive to you uh it's an opportunity for you we understand you came in here to do hotel bookings for groups and events and trade shows and exhibitions but the hotel video stuff is not exclusive to you, okay? It's an opportunity to you to make money right now because we know events have been postponed. We presented it to a particular agent and the agent said, well, you've asked me for 20 hours a week. Uh, you've asked me, you know, to be accountable. Uh, you know, uh, you, you're, not, you're not employing me. You're not paying me, so I'm not going to do it. That's fine. This is an opportunity for you to make money in a crisis. However, if you're going to do it, I want you committed to it. I don't want to spend time training you and supporting you if you're not committed to the cause and if you're not accountable. Because if you're not any good at it or you're not communicating well or you don't understand it, then you can't do it because it doesn't set the company up in a very good light. You also need to be trained. So these are really, really important things. If you're not into it, you don't have to do it. You know, you have a business which is hotel bookings for events. You do not have to do the video stuff. It is an opportunity for you. But if you want to take advantage of that opportunity, I need two things. I need a minimum 20 hours a week from you and I need your concentration. This is not the sort of thing you can just pick up and put two or three hours a week in and just go, oh, I'll see if I can make a little bit of money on the site. You, you know, it, it needs consistency and you also need to put the time in because you need to do the numbers. You know, you need to get through the hotels. You need to find the people that are there. You need to find the people that um, have a video. You need to convince those people why they should come onto our channel. Even though it's free, you still need to convince those people why they need to come onto our channel and what benefit there is. And that's what I'm going to show you now. And you've got a link to this presentation, which is in the chat box, Dropbox, selling videos to hotels, PowerPoint presentation. Everything we're going through here, you've got. And also, obviously, I'm going to put the video on to YouTube, the training YouTube hotels TV training area as well. But it's dead simple. Okay, what we do, you just got to keep it, keep it really simple. All right, but like I say, you don't have to do it. Um, it's an opportunity. I know it's very saleable, um, and I know it's a way you can make money. Okay. Firstly. The first thing you need to do is understand who we are and what we do. That on the video side of things, not on the booking side of things. So I know you know the booking side of things. This is on the video. Hotels TV is an online TV channel for hotels with an audience reach of 100 million. That doesn't mean we have an audience right now of 100 million. It means we are our channels are in a position to reach 100 million. If they are looking for hotels, if we do our marketing, um, we know there's 100 million that we can get to out there. If we, if we just get a fraction of those coming through, then it's going to be great for these hotels, going to be great exposure. But we have a market of 100 million people that are viewing videos monthly. 
okay? That's a monthly figure. It's huge, the market we're in, and they're all watching videos now. And we go via our partner channels, okay? Uh, sorry, via our partner channels, I should say. And I'll, I'll discuss who our partner channels are in the moment uh, because we're in a negotiation. I've got meetings over the next two days to actually um, put a partnership together with the people that control the advertising space and the video space across all airlines and all airport lounges and all digital screens and in-flight magazines and all those sorts of things. Now, obviously, at the moment, very few are flying. They still have websites, though, and we have access to that. Um, but they will be flying again soon. And if you've read any reports, I think you'll find that some of them are planning, like TUI and people like that are planning for July. Now, that may not happen, but it will happen. Okay. So at the moment, we have our reach through our own channels. And shortly, we're going to keep expanding that reach um, across uh, many, many other channels. The uh, company that we're working with on the airlines and the in-flight stuff also has a database that they're going to email and bring into these uh, platforms uh, that we have. So there's some exciting things to just to keep building those audiences, keep building those subscribers. Um, so, and these are hotel or travel booking people. That's who are looking at this. They're travel booking people. Um, so this is a really key audience for any hotel, any advertiser, anything like that. Okay, so we first produced, and this is th these are things for you to know to go into conversations with. I'll go through the pitch in a minute, but this is stuff you should know or you should print out and have handy so you can then get into a discussion with these people. So we first produced videos online in 2001. So in other words, what I would do, guys, just to say now, if you've got a pad and pen handy, I would take notes through this presentation. Um, think of it like a lecture, okay? You're going to have the end pitch and presentation, which is very, very short. Um, but during the conversation that you'll get into with that pitch, these are the bits and pieces you're going to have to expand on and sound knowledgeable on and be able to justify who we are and why we're good at what we do and how long we've been in this business. Um, some of these people may have known us. They would have seen our videos. We've had millions of views of our videos over the years, you know, because we started in 2001 making videos. So we created also the first online booking website for London, that should say, not the first online booking website, but for London called Hotels London. So this is all to give you credibility to give them. And it was sold to Late Rooms, which is owned by TUI, T-U-I, in 2008. It's now the Hotels TV booking system that you've got at the moment, but that's how it started. So in other words, what we're trying to demonstrate is that we've spent over 20 years in this marketplace. So we kind of have an idea of what we're doing. That's what the impression you want to give across. All videos achieve top SEO on uh, search engine optimization on Google videos and YouTube. Um, they do because we've been in the business longer than anyone else at doing this. So therefore, Google sees us as an authority. Okay, so that's important. I haven't written that down. But Google sees us as an authority because they've known hotels.tv as a video website for hotels since the early 2000s. So therefore, in their database, they actually put us <clears throat> more towards, um, well, the main site, they put more towards video production still. And so if you go onto YouTube, anytime we launch a video on YouTube, because it's owned by Google, Hotels TV videos, right, tend to optimize better than anyone else's. They go to the top of Google search. And that's massive to promote that. If you look at the Shanty Maurice that we did in Mauritius, <clears throat> and you just type in Shanty Maurice uh, Resort and Spa into YouTube or into Google videos, you will see our video comes up first. Now, they've shot five or six videos, and other people have shot videos um, and they don't come up first. And that's because we have this great sensitivity because of longevity in the marketplace. So that's really important. 
you know, so they get lots of brand recognition when they're with us. They don't just get on our site. As soon as we co-brand their video and we put them on our platform, their optimization through the search engine increases. That means they become more visible just through general search. People can click on them and end up booking directly with the hotel as a result of the videos that we've put out. Not even come through Hotels TV. It just, it can improve things dramatically for the hotel um, because you know, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world behind Google and video is the number one medium uh, video um, is it represents 90% of content now viewed online. Okay. That's why a hotel must have a video is because it represents 90% of content online is video. So if you don't have a video, you don't get seen in those locations. All right. So really important. But when you've got a video, it's what you do with it. And that's why we have a channel which gives them something really effective to do with it. <clears throat> okay. So we also have a global network of agents. That is an asset. Okay. You are all assets because you're spreading the word and, and hopefully bringing new videos in to the channel. Our channels include YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Vimeo, Amazon Fire TV, Roku TV. Now, Roku is predominantly probably US based with about 35 million. Amazon Fire is all over the world. Uh, they are overtaking Roku as the number one uh, over the top TV channel or the, 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 the TV box that, that clicks in. A bit like, yeah, we're going on Samsung shortly as well. Um, you know, look, review the previous videos or chat to us if you have any questions about what, or just look up OTT TV, OTT, over the top. So it's those apps, and we'll look at a couple of pictures in a minute coming up um, where people can go on like Amazon Fire and download the Hotels TV app uh, and view our videos, and we'll add more and more videos to that. So this is where the hotels go, so all through these channels. Um, Inc Global is a company we're about to start working with, which have a reach of a billion people globally. Um, complete hotel booking website. Now, why is that important? It's because we can work with these hotels and create campaigns where people can watch the video and then go through to our website to actually book that hotel. Okay, so that is a call to action. So we say during the video, Great, you know, we've got a special now running for the next 14 days. The rate is 50% lower than anything else. Click this link and you arrive on the hotels.tv website and you can book. And that keeps it separate from the hotel zone website, which also means that it's accountable and there's analytics that can be done separately on that. So that's really uh, mm -hmm. uh, a, a real important asset if hotels want to get involved with rates as well. But at the moment, Maybe they don't want to do rates. Maybe they just want the exposure. It's the exposure that's free of charge at the moment. Okay. So they can watch, click, and book. Simple as that. So our aim right now is hashtag keep hotels visible. And if you go onto sites like LinkedIn and put in hashtag keep hotels visible, you'll come up with my profile on LinkedIn. Uh, and hopefully we start to spread that hashtag and use that. You should all have LinkedIn accounts. Use that hashtag when you're discussing it, link to our videos. You know, you can all do this as well. And you can all say, if anyone wants any information, just message me or direct mail me on LinkedIn and your hotels that are on your database will um, also just come through directly to you and ask you questions. And that's how you can pick up new clients as well. So, um, you know, we're working hard over here to do all this. There's nothing to say you can't be doing that through your own profiles. You know, I'm really spreading the word. Global broadcasting network for hotels to engage high quality audiences and convert to direct bookings. Okay. <clears throat> high quality audience. We're talking about hotel booking people, guests. Why are they high quality? Because they're about to make a decision on which hotel they book, which credit card they use, which tours they go on. They're in a planning phase. They're in a dreaming and planning phase at the moment 
waiting for the market to come back. Okay, this is a great time to influence them. So these are the points that you really need to drive home when you're talking to the hotel department. You need to quote things like the e-hotelier article and you need to be reminding them that they need to stay visible. Okay, because they do and they know they do. And this isn't costing them anything to actually do it. I'll get to where you make money in a minute. Okay. All right. So what are the benefits of hotels TV video? Video converts viewers into bookings better than any other medium. Okay. It has a conversion, the actual conversion rate. If a video is on a homepage of a hotel's website, and very few hotels actually do this properly. Very few hotels put the video actually on the homepage. <clears throat> but if they did, it would help increase bookings or conversions to bookings by somewhere between 60 and 80%. That's how effective it is. Why? Because they trust video. They can get all sorts of size and scale and um, information from a video that they can digest far easier than reading the whole website. Okay, so it's about putting an effective campaign. Why do we do presenter-led campaigns? Okay, do you guys know that? If you know the answer to that, <clears throat> put it in the chat box, please. If you can do, I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. Um, but why do we do presenter-led videos so if you guys can just give me some reasons and i'll come back to that in a minute okay so video is more engaging okay quality presenter-led videos uh it represents the hotel across social okay <clears throat> now what we mean by that let's say you go on to youtube or you go onto facebook um and you basically see a video that's been made by me. I've made it off my smartphone. I've stayed there. <clears throat> I'm in the room. I'm in bed. I'm having breakfast. You know, maybe I'm a, a bit hungover from, from the night before or I've shot out the window and I've dropped my phone. Ha ha. It's really funny. I've posted it on social media. Another guest comes along. They want to look at that hotel. It, Gives them a bit of an idea. Yeah, maybe it's funny and fun. Does it show much of the room? Is it what the hotel wants to be represented by on video? So let's say that video now <clears throat> becomes number one on YouTube and it happens all the time. I put in St. Martin's Lane Hotel in London. The first video that comes up is some crappy video made by someone staying in the hotel. I actually did it. I did this as a test. I stayed at the St. Martin's Lane Hotel and I made a crappy video on my mobile phone and I posted it onto YouTube and it became the number one video for St. Martin's Lane Hotel. Five-star boutique hotel, very protective of their brand image, right? So what did the hotel have to combat that? Okay, because fine, that's crappy video. What about video number two, video number three, video number four? It didn't get any better. So that hotel risked its re reputation and missed out on all those potential customers because it didn't have a decent video mixed in all those guest review videos and it damages its reputation or maybe people skip over and it doesn't have the impact. So by creating a really good video, it gives you the ability to compete with all those other videos out there and show people how it actually really is. So it doesn't matter how many user generated videos you have, but if you've got one main video that's good, that is balanced and it's not too over the top, then that's what's believable for these people. And they'll still book, even though they might've had a crappy person or crappy video made by a person drunk falling out of bed in their hotel. You know, and that's the difference. So it can balance. That's a really important point when you get into discussions with um, hotels about why they should have a video. 
uh, and why they should have a decent video. Now, they could have videos where people are beautiful and they levitate across swimming pools and, you know, everyone's lovely and everything's lovely and it's, um, it's almost unbelievable. And you could do that. But the way we shoot videos is from a more realistic perspective. Now, just to go back to my question, I asked you, uh, why do we use a presenter? Uh, you guys have come back to make it more personal, to put a face to our name. Uh, Presenter-led videos are more engaging and can easily carry the viewers along. Uh, we like someone to tell us a story and we trust the person to show us the hotel. Look, all these things are kind of right and, and they're all, they all have an element of that. Okay. Okay. Um, trust is really important. People engage um, with a presenter like watching a TV show. They, you engage and you connect with that presenter. That's why it's really important you have someone to connect with. That person, hopefully, you, then you trust. But also, the reason we have a presenter and the way we do it is to provide an objective viewpoint. We want people to think that we are objective. We're an impartial party. We are not the hotel. We are reviewing the hotel. So we're giving a point of view, not from the hotel's perspective, but from our perspective so that it's balanced and believable because the hotel is biased. A guest is biased. I think TripAdvisor is one of the most biased, uh, unconvincing platforms. I think their star rating is more convincing than the actual reviews people leave because I don't believe the average person is the best person to review a hotel because they don't give you any perspective. Our presenters give perspective, okay? So we are rating and reviewing this hotel broadly in contrast to everything we conceive to be a four-star hotel or a five-star hotel. If you're a user or a guest and you've stayed at that hotel and you've written your tri uh, TripAdvisor remark, you might go, oh, my God, this is the best four-star hotel I've ever stayed in. It might be the only four-star hotel they've ever stayed in. So they have no perspective on what's a good hotel in a four-star category and what's a crappy hotel. One of the reasons we use um, categories like boutique, hip, corporate, budget, mid-range, is because four or five star doesn't cut it or three star. You could have a four star corporate hotel. You could have a four star luxury hotel, or you could have a four star boutique hotel, four star hip hotel, all these different categories of four star, completely different hotels. So just calling it four star doesn't really capture actually what it's about. And that could end up a really average stay for someone who was looking something a bit cozier or something more corporate with more corporate facilities. So these are the messages we want to get through by having a presenter. One of the other reasons um, to have a presenter, it gives size and scale to a bedroom. Okay, so we're managing the expectations of the guest viewing. If you just wave a camera around a room or a hotel, you don't get to see how big or small that room really is. You're going to turn up more times than not maybe be disappointed that it's smaller but look at the image below okay so this is georgina in the foyer right of my hotel brighton it gives you an idea of how big or small by having people in that shot by her being in the bedroom you can see with a human being unless she's disproportionate or maybe she's absolutely tiny or she's enormous she will now give a really good perspective of what that room's like. And it's all about managing expectations. So it's not about hotels telling you how good they are or how bad or us telling how bad they are. It's about just saying, look, these hotels are great for this. It's not about being negative about the hotel. It's been great. You know, so when people turn up, their expectations are balanced. And that means they're going to get what they thought or they're going to be nicely surprised, which means they're going to receive, uh, relieve a better comment, okay, doing a review. They're going to have a nicer stay and the whole thing's a much better interaction 
than it would be had everyone been beautiful levitating across swimming pools on the video and then they turned up and it was nothing like that which we've all been to before so this is why we have presenters so yes you're all kind of right in what you've sensed but that's why we want to do it and it it just gives that identity that 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 personality for someone to identify with and to trust especially when you see our presenters on two or three or four more videos um, you you start to understand they've been to that hotel you know that's really important as well we didn't just do a voiceover and we just go yeah this is a great hotel i spent three nights there and you know no we're there you can see we're there um, and that's equally as important okay so uh, we do affordable production designed to convert to direct bookings. Okay. The whole idea is to lead this to a booking. Okay. And this is what you need to get across to the hotel. This isn't just, you know, um, la la land where everyone's just kind of, Oh, let's just watch some entertaining videos. No, no, no. We're trying to get people to book these hotels. That's why we're trying to make them balanced and realistic and um, achievable. There's nothing like there's there's a um, I'm a big fan of a company called Hip Hotels and Hip Hotels did coffee table books in the early 2000s and they've got this beautiful channel beautiful hotels and then they tried to become a booking agency and I was kind of involved on the outside of that and I wanted to uh, we didn't end up working together but my idea was I I had to kind of calm them down because if you look at their stuff it's just not it's beautiful i mean it's absolutely stunning from a design element but you don't feel like you can book it you don't feel like it's even in reach you don't feel like it's even real it's so beautiful um <clears throat> so you have to make things slightly more real hotels.tv was always supposed to be something between rough guide Lonely Planet, MTV Cribs, if you remember that show, you know, and, uh, you know, something that is a bit of a walkthrough and is slightly edgy and slightly real and slightly underproduced if it's still professional, but it's accessible like some of those shows that you've seen, like MTV Cribs and Lonely Planet and Rough Guy. There's an element of reality to them, Um and that's really important in order to maintain the bookability of that. It needs to be bookable. So hopefully you get that. And this is also the reason why we like to control the style of video. And this, I haven't really written this down, but the style of video we tend to do all seems to be quite similar. Okay. And the reason for that is so that it's easy for people to compare one hotel to the next because they're kind of produced the same. All right, so you kind of know where things are rather than have two completely different styles, which is, just becomes confusing and it, it becomes very difficult to compare and, you know, understand the flow. Also, so that we can syndicate the content out. You know, that's really important as well that we can um, have a body of work that we could give to a tourism website and they could put on their tourism website, which gives us another million more visitors a month because they need video content. So if we did, you know, 20 videos in Nigeria and then we went to the Nigerian tourism board and said, look, we're going to give this to you. It's great content for you. It's video. You don't have to produce it. Um, here it is. It gives us great exposure for the hotels. Now we could do that transaction for free, but the hotels would have paid us to distribute their content. But the, the, the tourism board took the videos, and we've done this with the British Tourism Bureau uh, Visit Britain before, and also in, in Amsterdam with um, I, I Amsterdam, they're called. Um, we've done it with them because we had great content shot in a very similar way across 10 or 20 uh, videos that it was able to be used as an entertainment feature or an inf informative feature on a tourism website, which opens up the market. And this is what you've got. I'd love you guys to get further involved with this. You're all in cities. Once you get a few different videos together, offer those to the tourism board and you've just given your hotels amazing exposure. But guess what? 
the next hotel you walk into, you go, okay, our exposure is all these channels, but it's also the tourism board. Okay, you're going to blow them away. You're going to get people signing up in seconds if you can get these videos onto the tourism board website without a doubt, because they all want extra exposure. They all want to be one of those videos that are there, but the tourism board are not going to pay to have these videos produced. Um, and this is what we've done for them. So these are things you can really get more. The more distribution outlets in your region you can talk to and get our videos hosted on, and we can give them a player right, very easily, the more you can do, the easier this is going to be for you because you've got localized distribution, you know, which really means something to the hotels. That's value to the hotels to get involved. And at the moment, like I said, that is free for them. Okay. So uh, the other aspects here um, for use for the, uh, the hotel's own website. So clearly the hotel can put this on their own website. And that's going to help convert. They can use it for marketing, which means they can send it to their clients. They can attend a trade show in the future and play their video on a big TV screen behind. Um, they can use it for training staff. They can even add it to things like booking.com and Expedia where it's possible to add a video. Why not just add it? Um you know, it can help convert bookings on those channels. So this is all things they can do with these hotels TV videos. Uh, repurposing for Facebook ads, which means we can cut the video down to six or 10 seconds and they can put it with a nice little ad for their current advertising and marketing campaigns with a video. Video converts to more click-throughs from a Facebook ad by a rate of three to four times that of an image okay so uh, just to explain that further or, or repeat it once again maybe a different way okay video will improve the click-through rate of a viewer to click through on the ad to go through to the hotel's website at a rate of three to four times that of if they only used a still image okay and a message on video with a slogan, some text. You've actually got to put text on your Facebook ads because I think it's something like 80% of the viewers on Facebook watch ads with the sound turned off, all right? Because you've got to click through on it, don't you, to start it. But they watch the ads with the sound, so that's why you need text. So we can provide all that for them, not a problem, okay? For use, we want the video for use with our own campaign. Sometimes we do other campaigns like a Vox Pops in the streets on talking about certain things or maybe we do a feature on the best boutique hotels in Lagos or New York or London or whatever. We can use these videos to and repurpose them in different ways to create other campaigns which give them more exposure and more clicks and more likes and everything else. Uh, broadcast directly across our channels, video achieves greater click-through rate uh, across social than images, I just said that. Improve SEO with up-to-date video. It's important the video is up-to-date. If you've got an old video, it comes down the listings on YouTube and Google. You redo that video, bang, you're back up the top because Google want to display content that is relevant. Okay, so this is these are things you can use when you're talking to the hotels to help sell the concept of the video. Oh, we've already got a video, they might say. Okay, when did you do your video? I had a look at it, it's really nice, but how long has it been out there? Okay, well, you know, after a year, Google starts to put you down the list a bit. Okay, let's redo that video. Let's make it fresh. Let's release it under Hotels TV's uh, brand, which gives it a lift, and it puts it to the top because Google wants fresh content. Now. If an up-to-date video, video is really important, okay? If an up-to-date video is on the hotel's own website, what's it going to do for their search engine optimization in Google's eyes, right? Mm -hmm. Like adding new fresh content. It lifts them up the search engines so they have better 
organic search engine optimization to get higher up the rankings without paying because they've got fresh new content. This is a mistake so many hotels make. They, they create a very static website that doesn't move. There's no fresh images. There's no fresh information. And it drops down and down and down because Google wants things that are fresh and up to date. So anything that you can do, they should be using on their own website. These are all selling points to why we should get hold of their video and repurpose it and do that and do that on a regular basis because it keeps it fresh and it keeps their optimization up. Content is key on the internet. Video content is now being prioritized because Google knows that 90% of watched content on the internet is video. Make sense? Because that's how it works. So these are things <clears throat> by you guys subscribing to things like eHotelier and hotel marketing, you will understand by taking your business seriously, you will understand. So when you talk to a hotel, it's very, very easy for you to get that message across that this is what they should be doing. Um, and this, they may not do it. That's fine. You can't force them to do it. Right. But this is what they should be doing and not by what we say. This is by what Google says. So we're just the messenger and we just happen to um, have the vehicle to help them get there with video. We're called hotels.tv. You know, use that brand over and over when you're talking to these um, hotels so they understand that we are hotels.tv. There is no better brand in the marketplace to help them do that than hotels.tv. Um, there's no other ho direct hotel video marketing channel than hotels.tv. Um, we are trademarked across the US and we're trademarked across the EU. That gives us a trademark essentially across the world. Our trademark, hotels.tv, is also our domain name. Very easy for people to remember. Once people come into that, then they've got access. And that's why these hotels should be involved with us because of our niche focus on this video hotel market. Really, really important that we reiterate that and make them understand. Remember, your job is to sell this, you know, and by selling it is being convinced yourself and helping them understand why. And so this document really does that. Hotel bookings. I'm going to flick through this quite quickly. But hotel bookings are really key. Why do I include this in the video side? This is what it's all about. They can use our booking channel. Why? Because it makes it very accountable. If they give us a really special rate or a really low rate, they don't have to put that on their own website. They can just do it on Hotels TV. And just like you create a PBA and you add a hotel, you can actually just add a hotel to the destination. You've seen all the destinations, all the cities that are on the website. You can just add this hotel into that city with the special rate and we link it to the video. So people, we go, okay, well, you want to book this? Click here click and they go through to our website. So by being, being a booking agent, we are so far ahead of anyone out there that can help them with video because not only do we have the video, but we've got the complete end-to-end -end service, which takes them from video production through to the end booking for their guests, which generates them revenue. And that's what these hotels want, a return on investment. So that's what the video stuff's all uh, aside. So you already know all about that. Just use it to kind of sell that. Okay, video for your hotels marketing. Um, you know, they can embed the hotel video on their own website. We'll give them the player if they don't have one. Very easy to do. It'll increase conversion on their own website. Uh, direct and commission-free bookings that will improve so they don't pay commission on those particular bookings that do on their own website. They can add video to other agents' websites. As we said before, videos can be produced in other languages. I'll go through that in a minute. And it can be used at trade shows or new agent training and things like that. Okay, why choose to have a video? Okay, so you guys can read through a lot of this. I've already been through it. It gives you some stats on um, all the things that we just talked about. Okay, so you can read through that. Really important. 
um, we go through the next stage, some of our clients, look, get to know, okay, get to know some of the hotel videos we've done. Look on YouTube and look at the old stuff as well. All this, some of these, you look through that list, Shanty Maurice, Hotel Gotham, um, Charlotte Street Hotel, Metropolitan, My Hotel, Cube Hotel, Murano, Hotel Metropole. Hotel Metropole has hosted presidents at that hotel. Um, the Metropolitan Hotel in London, you know, you will see Denzel Washington there and you will see Kylie Minogue and Robbie Williams and you'll see all these artists that go to this bar in this particular hotel and hang out there. Um, these are all very brand conscious hotels. They're all very protective of their brand, yet they let hotels.tv come in and shoot them. Okay. So hopefully that says a lot about the brand and about the quality and about our relationship with these properties. They won't just let anyone in to come and shoot them, all right? But they trust what we do and they trust the way we will represent them. That is really important that you make the hotels feel comfortable, that, you know, you are doing this from a professional point of view, but you want to come across objective and constructively positive when you do the video because the audience believes that better than if the hotel was to shoot their own video, all right? That is a really important point, and it gives a really constructive reason as to why they should use us. One of the reasons we usually say is that we don't, we normally don't accept your video onto our channel. We have to come out and video your hotel. Why? Because we can control the production so it's done the right way and it, it comes across in a very objective way, although we're being very positive. Okay, really important. But that also gives us the excuse of why we're going to charge them extra money to shoot all over again. And that's how we earn money through the production and the editing services. And that's what we're doing at the moment. So it's a really important point. We'd love to do that. Now, at the moment, we're saying to these hotels, we will accept your video to help you, okay, without charging. But a lot of hotels don't have video. So the way you're going to make money is by saying, okay, we will do the video production at cost and we will give you the marketing for free. All right. So that's the angle. These are all get to know these hotels, watch the videos on YouTube, on our channel, look through the old, old, old stuff as well, because this really gives you the leverage to say, hey, hotel, you know, did you know we did the cube rooms? We did the Metropolitan. We did my hotel. We've been doing these hotels for years and they can go and look back in the archives over the years to see what we've actually been doing. Okay. On this are production prices. Okay, this is what it costs us to produce a video. Just to give you guys an idea. Okay, $250 an hour. I'm talking US dollars, they're always prices, you know. This includes the videographer and equipment. We're talking thousands of dollars. The cameras we use are probably worth four or five thousand dollars. Drone. The drone is not the three hundred dollar drone that you just see in some elect electrical shops. To get a decent drone. It's usually uh, two or $3,000 for a drone, okay? The videographer is someone who's experienced at this sort of stuff. Um, professional presenters have been doing and presenting for a long time, and we get them to present in two different languages, okay? We do full quality editing and multiple versions for various marketing campaigns. So if they're a hotel with a restaurant and a spa and a gym that's open to the public, we will shoot two or three or four videos, not just the one video. We will cut different edits out of the one video. So we will go into a hotel for half a day. So we'll spend five, six hours in a hotel. Five or six hours gives us the ability to create two or three minutes worth of content, okay, just to give you an idea. Now, five or six hours of the presenter, 
and the camera person, the camera operator who's the videographer, probably an assistant. Sometimes we use lights, sometimes we don't. Um, it depends on what type of presentation that we're going to put together. We can, we can do any presentation they want. We can do a TV commercial. We can do anything that they want. Um, we can do videos that we would charge them ten or $20,000 to create. If you've looked at Hotel Gotham, the video that we put together was probably worth ten to $15,000, and it involved actors as well playing particular roles. It was scripted. We lit up the outside of the building. We used um, props like a Rolls Royce. I think it's a Rolls Royce car or a Jag or something like that. You know, this was a big production for that hotel. <clears throat> we can go as much as they want. We can, we can create any sort of video they want, really high end, really interesting with the storyline, or we can just do the normal ones that we do for two or $3,000, you know, um, plus the marketing costs. So as a guide, it works out, everything works out about $250 an hour, okay, which you think about it isn't that much compared to what we do in the type of production. And it normally takes us about 10 hours work. So there's normally about five hours actual shooting and there's another five hours probably editing in fact, sometimes we put even maybe 10 plus hours into editing, but we don't really charge them for that. But we just want to make sure that it's really, really good quality. So for an average um, 60 room hotel with a spa, you know, that means we're shooting two or three different things, public areas for a much bigger hotel, then it's going to take a few extra hours. All right, so we try and come up at a reasonable cost and reasonable price for these hotels. But basically, that gives us two and a half thousand dollars per video production, but it creates multiple videos in two different languages and lots of really small edits that they can use for other marketing campaigns like on Facebook and different things. This campaign can feed their marketing and help convert bookings for a year, two years, three years. So it's not a lot of money. It's very inexpensive in the capacity of what we do um, because we need to make it quite affordable for these hotels to invest in that. Then comes the marketing. Where do they want to be exposed? Okay. So um, the other side is marketing. Now we would normally, if we just broadcast them, could, yeah, yeah, they're going to be on their own website and all those sorts of things, but they want more visibility. Okay, so we put them across our channels and we will charge them an average 30 cents per view, right, with a minimum ad spend per month of $3,000. That means they're going to get 10,000 views guaranteed per month of their video. It's a lot of eyeballs. It's great exposure. Um, it's great PR. Uh, so there's lots of different things and it's great search engine optimization as well and all the things that we discussed before. So a minimum 3000 a month, they might only want to do a two or three month campaign. That's absolutely fine. But we want a commitment. Now, we would negotiate lower than that. We'd negotiate for a minimum $1,000 a month. You know, we would talk to them. and but But this is a way of going in and projecting value. You've got to project value. They've got to see, oh my God, this is worth a lot of money. This is great exposure. This is a big audience. Excuse my squeaky chair. So this is a really good audience that we need to be in front of, right? Or they can do direct click through. So we would, we would not charge them a per view, but every time someone clicks through and we'd need a really good deal, they will pay us $15 for that. And we'd also have a minimum ad spend of 3000 or 1000 So we can do a couple of different things. A call to action campaign is when we also link through to the Hotels TV website and we collect 15% commission on those special rates or those flash deals or something like that. So we put two or three of these campaigns together to form a campaign. Now, what we're saying to these guys for the next three months under the Keep Hotels Visible campaign, we're going to give them this for free. 
okay so minimum three thousand dollars or fifteen hundred or two thousand dollars worth of advertising per month they're going to get for free okay because we want to help them at a point of crisis which is going on at the moment and we want to keep them visible all right later we'll do the in-flight and we'll be able to quote specifically on that some of those campaigns can be really hefty but you would be dealing with probably a chain of hotels or maybe a hotel marketing company now think of the people you can go to by the way write this down you can talk to hotels directly right now okay you can talk to chains of hotels because they have 50 hotels and maybe 100 hotels right you could talk to marketing companies of hotels and PR companies because their job is to market the hotels. You can talk to digital marketing companies like digital agencies that do their um, uh, do their social media marketing, like put posts on Facebook. You know, some of these hotels are still spending money. Go onto Facebook and Google and check all these, and you'll see who's still advertising. And you could go through some of these digital marketing agencies because these digital marketing agencies have the budget from the hotels, right, to spend on this. So some of these hotels might have said, okay, you go and create me some video content. So if you worked with the digital agencies, they're going to contract you to create the video so they can get the exposure. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So when I say go and talk to hotels, I'm not talking about just hotels. I'm talking about hotel management companies. Hotel, like there's one in Australia called Mantra, and they have thousands of properties around the country. So they don't own the hotels. They just manage the hotels. Um, or they're a brand like Best Western is a, they're actually a franchise. So they're a, they're a brand that goes over the top of an existing hotel. They don't manage the hotels. They're just a marketing brand. So we could go through Best Western and they could roll out some deal to all their key players. We want decent hotels, you know, as well. So we've got to pick and choose. But these are the people that you should be going to, you know, hotels, hotel brands, hotel chains, marketing companies, PR companies, uh, you know, all these things. Um, and you're going to give it to them for free. Now, the only thing they're going to pay for right now is production, okay? Now, when you explain it like that to them, it's a really good deal, and I hope you see that, that that looks like a really good deal, okay? But you guys make 15 to 20% of the production. So let's say they need a, a video produced. They're going to spend two and a half grand. All right. Some of these hotels, they have a lot of money. They're sitting, you know, their properties are worth a fortune. They might not have cash flow now, but they are not broke. Okay. They put all their staff off or they're getting benefits from the government. Right. Some of those hotels are actually owned by investors. So the investors are not getting returns, but it's not like they're paying rent necessarily or they're doing deals. So just because they're not earning revenue doesn't mean they're going broke. Okay, so they still have a marketing budget and they're getting investors to put more money in because everyone wants to come out the other side in a better position. So you guys just have to find those hotels. And the only way you can do that is by talking to them, seeing who's still advertising, um, getting your presentation right, understanding the product and just getting on the phone and talking to these people, you know, and saying it like this. This is our market. We understand what you're going through. And we want to help you. Uh, let me go through the presentation so you know. But that's what you're giving them, okay? You And even if, let's say they already have a video, what you want to do is try and convince them that we will need to re-edit that video in order to put it on our channel, but we will only charge them $500 to do that, okay? So if you can get $500 or $1,000 from these hotels, okay, that's enough for us to tinkle around and do some marketing and things and give them the space for free, right? And you're going to earn 15 to 20% of that. If you can sell a complete video, let's say they've got no video content at all, but they're really keen to be involved in the marketing because you've sold it so well that they're going to get all this exposure, which they are, right? And you charge them two grand or two and a half thousand dollars, right? And negotiate with them. If it comes down to $1,500 right now in this market, we can still create something for them. 
Okay, so you've got a bit of flexibility. Come back to me if you've got someone who wants to invest. If it's under two and a half thousand dollars, then what you can do is say, okay, I need to talk to Harrison. I need to talk to Hotels TV's, you know, uh, management or Vanessa, um, and you know, let's see if we can get this approved for you. Okay, it's it's a close we call. If I could, would you? If I could get this for you at a production cost of this, would you go ahead? Okay, I'll go and ask someone and let you know. So that's a great way to do it. And each week we'll start to do more and more on that. If you want one to one sessions on selling this, um, you know, we can get together one to one. You just got to let us know. Okay. Now, <clears throat> here is the pitch. Okay. Um, uh, the, the, sorry, this is the concept that we're doing. Keep hotels visible. During the coronavirus, this is what I read at the start, Hotels TV understands many hotels are not trading and receiving revenue and cutting their marketing budgets. People are planning now. We want to give them visibility now. We want to give them free marketing. The conditions are the hotel must have a decent video to submit and authorize Hotels TV to use it and edit it. And we give them a very brief agreement, which will circulate. It's a very brief agreement to say, yes, we want to do that. Hotels pay for any required um, uh, editing at no, I put down editing at no cost, no profit will be charged. Oh, oh sorry. Um, let me just repeat that. Editing, hotels pay for any required editing. Okay. Editing is at cost. No profit will be charged on top. So that's what you can pitch them as well. It's only at cost. It pays for the editors to do whatever they need to do to that video. Obviously, you make your margin on it. They don't need to know that. They just know it's at cost. We are not charging our profit on top of this. If hotels require a full video created, production will be at cost as well. Okay. Now, here is the pitch, and it is a very easy pitch. All you have to do is call the hotels. Call. Don't email them. Don't... Um, Go on to LinkedIn and, you know, use this because it's selling is about talking to people. Um, if it was that easy that we would just distribute an email out, we wouldn't need you, you know. So, you know, people need to be convinced. It needs to be discussed. Okay, there are questions, there are opportunities. So you need to speak to people to do this. Don't be lazy. Don't take the easy way out. Contact people through LinkedIn. Contact them through WhatsApp. Contact them through Facebook and Instagram and however you need to get to them. Be creative. Organize a time to have a chat. Say, look, I'd love to get you in front. We're offering a free offer and it is free. Love to get you in front of these people on our channel. Okay, and this is the way to do it. And this is the way I've done it for years. Hi. My name's Harrison. I'm from Hotels TV. We're a global online TV channel for hotels, and we're across YouTube, Amazon Fire TV, Roku, and more. The reason for the call is that we would love to feature your hotel on our channel. Now, if we just stop there for a second, all right, um, everyone wants to be featured on a TV channel, right? And we're a TV channel. So that's the easiest introduction in the world. We want to feature you on our TV channel. We want to feature your hotel. We want to feature your business. We want to feature your great product on our channel. Straight away, you've got their interest. Straight away. Imagine if the Travel Channel or Nine News called you and said, hey, we'd love to do a feature on you. You're not going to go, no, thanks, bye, right? You're going to listen. Okay, look. And then you go into the next. I see you have a great video. We'd love to feature you across our channel. You need to do some research before you call them. Go and find their video. Go onto YouTube and look for their hotel. Be researched. Go onto their website. Find out if they've got a video. Find the video, right, and see where they're marketing that video and look at it and see if it's the quality that we can use. And then say, look, and reference that video. Say, look, you've got this great video, but I can see you could do more with it. You don't, you, you don't have enough channels to distribute this through where it's going to do you any good. We'd like to help you. So we understand it's a difficult time. Hotels are empty 
and marketing budgets are reduced, but we are here to help. We believe it's vital that you keep visible at this time as people are planning and waiting for restrictions to ease. Okay, but they're planning and waiting at this time. They are planning right now. Okay, our campaign, Keep Hotels Visible, markets your hotel across our channels for free for three months. That means we're going to market your video across all our channels for free for three months to help you. This is what we're doing to help hotels because it's really important that they stay visible. Our market is hotels. We don't want hotels disappearing. We want hotels succeeding because that's how we succeed in the future. Using your existing video for free. But if you need some editing or production, then we will do it at cost. Can we have permission to use the video and start the campaign? All we need is the marketing agreement done, any artwork, videos, raw edits and images, and even access to the hotel if we're going to shoot any new content right now. And as I said, some hotels, um, it may be a really good time to actually go in, if you're able to, to go in and actually shoot the hotel right now because it's easy to get in all the rooms and feature the rooms. You might, we might only have to or be able to have one or two people doing it, but we can do it. So that's it. It's as simple as that. So what I'd like you to do is if you want to get involved in this, you study all the other points because you just need that to know for your answering any questions, to understand what angle to come from. But your pitch is this. Hi, it's Harrison from Hotels. We're a global online TV channel. We would love to feature your hotel across our channel. We know it's a difficult time and your marketing budgets are reduced, so we're going to offer this campaign for free. Okay, what we're doing is keeping hotels visible. So it's, we're going to give it to you free of charge for three months. All we need is an existing video to put across our channel, uh, and we can even put links to your hotel. How does that sound? Can we have permission to use the video and start using the campaign and, and start the campaign? It, that's, that's it. And then it's just a case of just calling lots of hotels and having a chat to lots of hotels and getting them to maybe go and have a look at the channel on YouTube or having a look at the channel on Vimeo. You guys should all know the links by now. So you can show them a couple of demonstration videos and things like Shanty Maurice is always a good one or Gotham or whatever. But get to know the the, the product. Get to know the links. on You know, on um, uh, YouTube, you can easily share a link. So why don't you just share a link in an email, create an email, a very brief email to the hotel and say, look, here it is. Uh, I will put links. I've given you a link already to the article, to the Dropbox. Um, um, I will also email out the links um, to the agreement. But the agreement can come later. The agreement's very, very straightforward. Just start calling the hotels that you work with and start using this presentation um, and get some feedback from them. You know, if you've got some objections that they've come up with, then come back to us and let's have a chat and I'll show you how to overcome those objections. But let's start getting objections because you start getting objections, it means people are considering what you're doing. But maybe there's something they don't understand about what the product's going to do for them or maybe they're thinking it's going to be more difficult than it actually is or, you know, um, that's it. That's it. So hopefully, look, any questions? Um, we've got a couple of minutes left. Um, please just jot your questions down. But hopefully that gives you a really good idea of how to pick up the phone tomorrow, how to look on YouTube and the hotel's own website to see if they have a video and whether they do or not get in touch with their marketing team. So really you want to get in touch with their marketing manager of the hotel or possibly the general manager of the hotel or anyone connected with the hotel. And you want to, you know, let them know that we're running a campaign during the coronavirus to help hotels visible, visibility. Okay. Keep hotels visible. That's a hashtag keep hotels visible. All right. That's what you're trying to do. So you're helping these hotels right now. All we need is their video from them. All right. Uh, thanks for your question, Harry. 
How long are we providing free marketing for? Three months. All right. So we're going to give them an initial run for three months. So you could sell that as they're getting anything from three to $12,000 worth of marketing free of charge whilst the coronavirus is on. You sell it like that. And if they've got to come up with a grand to do some editing or two grand to do some production, then, um, you know, it's a no brainer for these guys. It's a cheap form of advertising right now, even if they've got to get some editing done. But if they've got a perfectly good video, we'll take it. We won't charge them a thing. You know, sometimes you've got to give a little bit away. So if you start getting two or three or four videos that will just give you a video that we can use, we might still edit it and we're not going to charge them. But it gives you something tangible to tell the next hotel. So what you do is you tell the next hotel and say, hey, did you know the Dorchester just gave me a video and they're part of our Keep Hotels Visible campaign? So why don't you get involved as well? You know, so sometimes you've got to give two or three of these things away. And then on the fourth one, then you charge the marketing, then you charge the um, editing, then you charge the production. OK, so hopefully that gives you a bit of ammo to start to use. Um, we have a presentation as well, and I'm going to email this out um, probably tomorrow with links in the Dropbox. So I've done a media pack. You've got, uh, I'll have access to this uh, training presentation as well, and I'll put an agreement in there. So you'll have a media pack, and that's something that you can email to your hotels. You will have this training document, which you've already got a link to, and you'll have the agreement that you sign with the hotels because it's important they give us the permission also from a copyright perspective to be able to use that for three months. All right. So they're the things that I will email you on Tuesday. All right. And you will, well, by the time you get up on Tuesday, let's put it that way, unless you're over this side of the world, you can then start calling hotels. I would like the sales agreement back if you're going to be involved in that just because I want to know who I'm going to be paying the commission to and who's going to be giving us the minimum 20 hours. If you don't want to do it, like I said, you don't have to. I've got a meeting on Wednesday with salespeople all over North America. These are just sales. These are not agents coming in. These are just salespeople that will be selling franchises but also will be selling the hotel video production around North America as well. And I can assure you they will be putting more than 20 hours a week into being a part of this because that's what we need right now. If you do this, I will show you how to make money now. You get a 50% deposit for the production of the, um, the, get, uh, the clients. You get 50% Okay, and we'll send them an invoice. They can pay by credit card or they can do a bank transfer. You will get 50% of your commission up front because I realize it is a time we all need to make some money. So as soon as they pay that, as soon as they sign the agreement, they pay that 50%. That can happen within a few days. You get your money straight away. I'm not going to wait for a month to give it to you or I'm not going to wait for a particular time. That comes in you get your 15 to 20% as per that agreement. So it is a way that you can get busy right now, help people in a crisis, help people right now, and still make some money along the way. Just because the coronavirus is out there doesn't mean people have stopped spending money. They are still spending money. They're just being very careful about what they do. And you've got a really good story. You've got a really good opportunity to um, be able to, you know, uh, give them free marketing because of the situation. They wouldn't normally get that. And that's what this document is there to demonstrate the value of what you're giving them. You must build value. Even if you're giving something away for free, you must build value in it so that they can see 
what an amazing opportunity this actually is. If you don't build value, then it doesn't matter what you give for free. It's like an old sofa. I'm going to give you this old sofa for free. I'm done with it. Not very tempting. But if I was to tell someone that sofa cost me $3,000 and I'd like to give it to you for free, you're going to probably take the sofa, right? All of a sudden, it changes the value of that. So that's why we build it up, 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 and then tell them that they can have it for free. You must create value. So that's it. I'm out. Um, this recording has worked, I hope. I'm going to put it shortly within the next 10 minutes. This recording is going to be on our YouTube training channel, which I know you're all subscribed to. Um, because every time we then add that, you'll be notified, but it will be there under the videos area <clears throat> or under the webinars um, playlist as well. So go in and have a look at that. Replay this as many times as you need to, but in the drop box, hopefully you've all clicked on that link in the chat box. If not, do it now before... We end this presentation, click on Dropbox, selling videos, and you'll have a copy of this PowerPoint presentation. Like I say, the rest I will send out in an email. And actually, I'll also give you a link to the training video in that email too, to make it nice and easy. And get busy, guys. Get busy. Start calling hotels now, Tuesday. Start calling them. Get the videos. We need the videos. We'll get them sent through... Um, what, well, you just have to pass it on to us and we'll talk to them. You don't have to do anything after selling that deal. Just tell them the production team will get in touch and we will get them active across our channels. I hope you all had a great Easter weekend and got lots of Easter eggs and uh, and you're still eating chocolate. Um Thank you for your attendance. Keep well and out of trouble like usual. Keep virus free and positive. We will be all out of this soon. Um, but in the meantime, let's uh, let's get really busy. All right. Thanks very much. And uh, bye for now.